I'm DCFN Simone, and today on DC Made Easy, we're going to be talking about shoring. We have two different kinds of shoring on the ship. The first kind we're going to be talking about is wood shoring. It's made out of fir or yellow pine. It is used in three types of basic shoring, I, H, and K. I type being the strongest shoring and H type being the weakest. Since wood shoring is at a set length, we need different tools to cut and measure the shoring width. The first tool is a shoring bat. It's used to cut different angles and lengths. The next tool is your carpenter square. It's made out of three parts, heel, tongue, and body, and is used for more specific measurements. Next tool is your handsaw, obviously used to cut the shoring with. Once you're done cutting and measuring the wood shoring, you can use the leftover pieces as a strong back. Strong back is used behind the shoring to evenly distribute pressure. The next type of shoring we're going to be talking about is steel shoring. We have two different types of shoring. Three to five feet and six to 11. Steel shoring will hold up different weight at different lengths. At three feet, it'll hold 20,000 pounds. At five feet, it'll hold 12,000 pounds. You can also twist the shoring to fine tune the length up to three inches. The longer length of steel shoring will hold 20,000 pounds at six feet and 6,000 pounds at 11 feet. A unique thing about steel shoring is that it can be welded into place, therefore not needing a shoring watch. I'm DCFN Simone, and this has been DC Made Easy on Shoring. Don't forget, we hold training every day at 1330 on the Messex.